so I've never like made let me move this. Okay. Um so I guess the video for today is going to be a uh, draw with me video. Um it's kind of extremely awkward doing this, but it's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, so I just want to like firstly apologize for <laughs> never making videos. Um, but I, I mean, I like making them, but it's kind of hard for me to make them. I don't know why. I, I try to explain it and it just doesn't like feel like genuine explanation. Um, even though like I do feel uncomfortable in some way making videos, I don't really know why and I wish I did so that I could give people the explanation that they deserve but I don't I really honestly don't know what to say besides sorry. Um, yeah. But uh, what I'm drawing right now is a commission. Um, it's actually pretty late. It's, it's a very late commission, but um, I mean, I'm doing it, so... Yeah, uh, let's see, what do we talk about? Um, I, oh sh oh, okay, hold on. Um, I just caught something that I didn't sketch out before. It's cool. That looks really stupid. I don't know if that's correct, but it's going to be there. Um, I have been in school, as some of you know, or probably all of you, I don't know, uh, and it's actually been going pretty well. A lot better than I thought it would, honestly. Um, I was kind of like, it expecting to fail everything again <laughs> but it's actually going okay yeah and I guess this is kind of like what I mean by like I don't know how to explain like not enjoying making videos because I enjoy doing it but there's something about it I don't like, and I think it's this. I think it's, cause like, okay, I don't like doing live streams on Instagram by myself because I just like get like this huge wave of depression. I don't know why. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and that's kind of like what's going on right now. And I'm not like trying to like, be emo on main, but that's just the truth, and I don't even know if I'm gonna, like, do a voiceover of this so that I don't have to, like, out myself as an emo little kid. Uh, honestly, though, I'm probably just gonna leave it, because who even cares at this point? Um... But yeah, um, oh also uh, with this commission it is an OC who is not my OC, an OC called Pickles and my OC Tanner and he looks really bad. I honestly want to restart this commission because I don't like it very much but I'm hoping to like fix it as I go. It's just, I don't even I don't know. Is it a big deal though? Probably not. Um, but 
I'll try my best to make it look the way I want it to look. Anyway, uh, sh I don't know. Damn. <laughs> I have been watching a lot of Sam Collins recently. Um, because I didn't really watch a lot of him. Like, I knew of him, but I didn't really watch his videos. And I have just, like, been kind of obsessed with his videos recently. Dude, he's so funny. And, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really know how to talk about myself. And, um, I'm kind of, like concerned that my audio is because somehow water got into my phone and <clears throat> it like it just has wonky audio sometimes and it like picks up things really weird and I really hope that's not the case right now I could check but I'm not going to um I'm sitting like my phone is like literally right next to my face so hopefully it like picks everything up um my Instagram account is like flopping and I'm not like really talking about it publicly because there's really nothing I can do at this point but it has just like been going downhill for a very long time, for like almost a year now. And um, honestly, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and I don't really wanna like try to explain what's going on because a lot of people won't understand and a lot of people will just like, will just be like, oh well you have a lot of followers so it doesn't really matter. Or oh you should be grateful that you get likes anyway. Just like, okay, well, you know, that sort of thing. I really don't feel like getting um, feedback like that. I would just rather sulk in peace. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So also, I, I don't really talk about this very often on my Instagram, but I'm from Texas. Um, and my sister got me and our other sister tickets to, S to ACL. And I have never been, uh, my sister might have, I think she's been, but I haven't and I'm really excited. My mom got me a Weezer shirt for ACL, even though Weezer is not going to be there, I asked for a Weezer shirt anyway, uh, which is pretty valid. Um, I've talked to a couple people this year who don't know who Weezer is and that's really sad. So, if you're one of those people, make sure you listen to their music. Um, it's pretty likely that you know some of their songs. Um, but if not, that's kind of sad. <laughs> um, I think their most popular songs are uh, Say It Ain't So and Island in the Sun, uh, Buddy Holly. <sighs> what else? Uh, Troublemaker. Mm. I know that uh, Africa, their cover of Africa by Toto was fairly popular when it came out. I actually personally haven't listened to it because I'm an incel, but yeah, I, uh, I know that's kind of popular right now. And um, yeah. So if you if you haven't listened to them ever, make sure you do that because they're really good and uh, Rivers is a genius. But yeah, I'm really excited to go to ACL this weekend because um I don't really see my sister that often because uh, she lives six hours away um but last week and or last week yeah last week was her birthday and um 
she didn't come down but we're probably gonna do something soon like next month or something because she's in college and uh, she can't just like come down whenever she wants especially because like gas and shit but yeah Okay, so I'm just going to talk about art stuff really quickly. So this jacket that I'm coloring, um, it's blue in the reference, but because this guy's hair is blue, we're not going to do a blue jacket. Because um, the color scheme would just be actually disgusting, so I'm making it gray. Um, and someone a few days ago asked me, um, how I, uh, paint skin, and I think they were referring to my digitals, um, but just like in general, how to color skin, so this is not going to be an example, um, because this is just like, a sketchy sort of thing but oh shit um but for reals uh I talk about this when I answered the question um so when you're coloring skin basically you need to look for the true colors that are in your reference or that are in the still and this goes for like virtually anything, not just with skin. Um, you should look for the true tones that you see. And what I mean by that is like a local color. Uh, ignore that, basically. So if you don't know what local color is, it is the color that you assign to a specific thing in order to categorize it um, in, like immediately. Um, an example of that would be, hey, this shirt's green. Hey, this hair's blue. That like, so green is the local color of this shirt, but basically that's what I mean. Just like identifying the actual colors in the thing that you're looking at or trying to draw or color, whatever. Uh, instead of just like deciding, hey, this is red and just choosing all red tones to color it because then that becomes surreal and maybe you're not maybe you're not going for uh, surrealism so yeah but like with skin tones it's it's more like there is reds obviously like in here there are a bunch of reds in there but there are also these neutrals right there in the um, shaded part of the, the eyeball. <laughs> and there are like violets and blues. And blue is my favorite thing to add because it's just like so, it, it just looks so good uh, in contrast with the red tones usually. And there are yellows and uh, sometimes greens. Those look nice. You just have to really, really look at uh, at your subject because it's it's not just one one thing, you know. And that's kind of where you get like a more realistic um, color, <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better word. So, but like right now, I'm really not doing that. I'm really just using grayscale. But this is kind of like on the green side. 
this gray color because like with with like things in the on the gray scale um things can like have like blue undertones or purple or green green is the worst i, I hate the green undertones like especially in black it's just this one has a green undertone this this black pencil is green which is really annoying when I'm like trying to photograph stuff and it just like comes back green um but yeah that that kind of thing too is is uh stuff that you should take into consideration if you're able to like pick and choose like what specific materials you're using um yeah because like different brands have like different undertones in their colors um so if that's important to you then you should probably look at that as well while you're picking colors because it does make a difference my throat is like starting to get annoyed my throat hurts <laughs> basically i don't know why i didn't just say that but yeah because i'm trying to like talk lower because i'm really insecure about my voice and that's kind of one of the reasons why i don't like like making videos and doing live streams and stuff because i'm really insecure about my voice and i know that i get a lot of compliments on my voice but i personally really really don't like it because of the reasons <laughs> Uh, but yeah. I was thinking that I would make videos more often. And I always say that like in every single video I post, but I have been feeling a lot better recently um, as far as like motivation. And um, I was thinking that I could honestly just like make a schedule and make video or like upload videos once a week I think that would be good for everyone <laughs> or at least for me I don't want to like sound like an ass and say that my videos like do anything they probably don't really but yeah But honestly, like, I just, I, I've been wanting to make videos, um, for a while, but I was kind of nervous because I know that I said that I would do this series where I talk about my characters and stuff, but I haven't done that, and I don't want to just, like, say that I'm going to do something and then do something else, because I don't know if anybody has noticed this, but I'm a very, very indecisive person, and I just change my mind on everything uh so it's kind of hard to <laughs> to stick to things like even if i am genuine about what i want in the moment it's probably going to change in like two days so yeah i hope that that doesn't happen with like this potential schedule that i'm gonna make about making videos Um, in other news, I went to a, um, therapy consultation earlier today, and I actually just got back from it, like, an hour ago. Thinking pink for the details. Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just got back from a therapy consultation and basically I can't do the therapy there because there's like a limited amount of sessions that I can do and I've used like a lot of them like majority of them so it's 
yeah, I don't know, it kind of sucks because those sessions were supposed to last for like four years, <laughs> which is so stupid. Um, but basically it's just like sessions at my college um, and we have like 15. I think I moved the camera, okay. We have like 15 uh, for our entire college career at this place. Um, so it's really shitty, um, but those are just the rules, I guess. And um, I guess the responsible thing to do would be to save those uh, remaining sessions and just seek other things, other means of therapy, whatever. Um, sorry that I'm moving the light. I need my sharpener. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking maybe group therapy. And I wasn't going to do therapy in the first place, but I have to because I'm f poor and I can't get like financial aid for school because of reasons and I have to do therapy for them to be able to like give me financial aid so it sucks because like I that resource is basically just bone dry and um I'm kind of I mean I'm not worried I'm not the kind of person that just like gets worried over these things it kind of just is. It either goes well or it doesn't. Um, I'm just dealing with the law right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, if somebody wants to like buy me a tripod, now that would be very much appreciated because I'm sick of this. This is also one of the reasons why I don't make tons of videos because I struggle actually making and filming them. Oh god. It's honestly just really annoying having to figure out a setup that isn't but ugly and stupid and something that everybody hates. this in the video. I'm probably just gonna like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause this is already pretty long and I don't wanna like make a long video that nobody likes. Would anybody even watch this? Probably not. I kind of wish that I was more talkative because I'm really not like in real life and somebody actually brought this up in a tell because um, I don't know if everybody knows this but I have a telonym that is open to my followers and basically just everyone who wants to like go on there but uh, someone on Telenim said that I answer my tells very bluntly and very rudely. And, um, that's valid. Like, I, I am blunt when I respond to tells, but like, it's not meant to like be rude or anything. As you can see, I just have a very monotonous voice 
and speech pattern and um yeah that's <laughs> and like i said i said in my response that i just that's just how i speak like in general literally obviously that's just how i speak um and uh yeah I don't know where I was going with that. I it was just kind of like on my mind for a while. And like it's never something that I want to be a problem with other people. Like I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Um it's kind of at least to me obvious when I'm like mad or like pissed off. Um like you will definitely know. <laughs> Um, and me just like answering tells is really like not like I've never I'm hardly ever like in a bad mood when I answer tells unless someone is just like blatantly like being an ass then yeah I can sometimes like return that energy I haven't done that in a long time though because like I've talked about this quite a few times but like just being nicer is something that I am really working on and I think I think it's um gotten better so yeah I'm happy with that uh damn I forgot what the, I forgot what pickles eye color is I hope it's not green because that would be unfortunate I hope it's like brown or something something neutral like that okay now we're going to get on with this guy he looks really ugly this is like the thing that I don't like about the drawing. It just he looks really ugly, and it makes me sad because he looked so cute in the sketch. But I guess it's fine. What'd you fucking say? What'd you tell me, your dick? I will beat your fuck. Not really. I'm actually crying on the inside. Oh, this is Tanner, by the way, if you don't know who I was, like, referring to. Um, he's my, uh, first original character, and I actually made a video on him, like, all about him. And, um, I guess I'll link it somewhere. Uh, honestly, I don't really like that video because <laughs> the drawing is ugly. <laughs> but... I guess it's okay. I, I don't know. It's it's obviously not okay, but it just be like that. I'm trying. I want to like fix this, this drawing because it's it's just so but ugly. Recently, I've been getting kind of back into One Direction, which <laughs> it's really um, kind of surreal because I've talked about multiple, multiple times that I, tr that I choose not to like um, really like involve myself with anything One Direction or Harry Styles related because I'm an incel and I just get like, I get crazy. Like, in a negative way, like, not in, like, an oh my god, I love them so much way, but, like, a really, like, weird way. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I mean, I do know how to explain it, but I'm not going to explain it here because I don't want people to, like, think I'm crazy. But <laughs> it's nothing, like, bad, I don't think. It's just really weird. And I'm sorry if like it comes off like I'm trying to make myself seem like an uwu quirky person. I but like I just like I don't know. <laughs> it's embarrassing is what I'm getting at. It's just embarrassing. Just like the way that I feel about about that band. <laughs> uh but regardless, I have um, been getting back into them genuinely and I have been listening to their music again 
and uh, I am happy to say that I am enjoying it. Because um, One Direction is really good, so. <laughs> yeah, also, Louis was um, hands down my favorite. I mean, he still is. But I, most of the time, I just talk about Harry. Uh, cause he's just like, he's everything, you know? He's, um, genuinely, he's just like a renaissance man, and I don't care who disagrees with that, like, you're invalid. So, like, Harry is just like, the only valid person on Earth. He's just amazing. Uh, and he's good at, like, everything. Did you know that? Because I knew that. <laughs> and, um... He's just so cool, you know? He's like super handsome, he's musically inclined, he's a great singer, he can play guitar, kind of. Uh, he can model, kind of, and he can act. I have not seen uh, Dunkirk, the movie that he was in a few years ago, because for the same reason why I didn't really listen to One Direction that often. Uh, if you know, you know, but like, I, I have not seen that movie, but like, from what I have seen from it, uh, he was really good, and um, that's awesome. Also, he's like an LGBT icon. Uh, what else? He's a fashion icon. Uh, he's extremely nice, uh, and, and he's funny too. Uh, what else? That might be it. No, he he's uh, <laughs> he's good at golf, I guess. <laughs> I guess he can play golf. Uh, I, I actually don't know if he's good or not, because I've heard that golf is a very, uh, difficult, uh, sport. Which is valid. Um, it looks difficult. But I, yeah, I don't know if he's good or not. But just, like, the fact that he's, like, willing to play is just, like, everything. Uh, what else? Um, he's very handsome. I did, did I say that? I think I... That might have been the first thing I said, but like I'll say it again. He's very handsome. Uh, he has great hair, even though he's like balding. Um, what else? I think he was doing art for a while. It was never like I don't know if it was ever confirmed, but like he was like pictured buying like paint, like professional grade paint, and that's pretty lit. Like. I don't know. That's cool that he was apparently getting into art stuff. I support that. Uh, what else? Um, he's really cool around women. He doesn't like treat them like trash. Uh, so that's good. He, I mean, I don't think he treats anyone like trash. And that's awesome. I really like that for him and for me. I don't know why I went on this Harry Styles tangent. <laughs> Honestly, who even cares? I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's just like my explanation as to why he is a uh, renaissance man, you know? <laughs> I don't know if people will agree with any of what I'm saying, but yeah, I just wanted to explain why Harry Styles is just great. He's a great person to stand. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I could probably explain why I like the other members. I actually I couldn't do that for all of them, probably just for Louie and Niall. I honestly I'm not really that I'm not a fan of the other two um yeah <laughs> actually no it's actually not important oh you know who else is good Rivers Cuomo 
which is uh, the the frontman of Weezer, which I was just talking about, like a loser. But they're really good, and Rivers is really good. He's a great songwriter. He's a great musician. Um, yeah, he just, I love him so much. I love everything he does. He's just so great. <laughs> he's so cool. Oh, and he's emo, so, like, he's just like an, he's such an emo guy. It's so, I don't know, it's just, it's just so good for him. He looks really pink, but he looks better, honestly, even though I didn't really do much, but like, <laughs> he looks a little better. His hair looks ugly, but <laughs> I swear I'm not crying. Probably sounded like I was. Yeah, okay, well, um, I don't know why I didn't, Ugh. God, this is kind of really stupid looking. Look, okay, oh shit, okay. So this is what I mean, Th okay. This is what I mean about uh, undertones. I don't know if focus, please focus this. Okay, so this is a blue undertone. This is a green undertone. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's true. And for what I'm using this for, it's not really a big deal. But just so that you're aware, it's it, it's a true fact, and you should be aware of it when you're um, coloring things. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Okay. So um, this cat should be orange. That'd look good. Um, basically, I have this AU, um, which stands for Alternate Universe. I'm sure none of us needed uh, a clue in on that, but just in case. Um, so I have an AU for my OCs, my OC universe, where everything is actually a TV show. And I've talked about this a lot on my um, Instagram story. But earlier today, I was thinking about what their names would be. Um, I already have names for four of them. And um, yeah, I was like thinking of names for all of them and um, surnames as well to match the first names. And um, I actually had this for a few months, uh, but Tanner's name this guy right here would be Christian like his name would be Christian and today I was thinking that I would make his surname for the, the AU I would make it Abercrombie if you didn't know that's an actual last name it is um, yeah I think he I think it I just think that is definitely the life that he's living in the AU. So, yeah. It definitely is. I'm not really sure about, I'm not like 100% sure about the surname, but like, it's already been canon for that AU that um, his first name is, would be Christian. And then for my uh, OC Owen, who I have not made a video on yet, uh, surprisingly, uh, his name is already, like it's been um, Matt for the AU. And I kind of want to make his uh, surname, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be weird, 
but like I kind of want to make his surname legend um or like something that sounds like that and then he would just like change it to like, like actually legend because it sounds so similar or like maybe it is pronounced like legend but it's spelled a little differently but he just spells it like the actual word um I don't know I don't know how I feel about that I could just like be like stupid <laughs> um but I don't know it just excited me when I thought of it so it's it's a possibility And then um, for Daniel, his would just like his name is like still Daniel in real life, like for the AU. And but like I kind of want to make his surname Bath. I was looking at Indian surnames, and that one I thought was really nice because it I don't know because. I think the short name, like the one syllable name for the name Daniel, for him specifically, just sounds really good and that's the reason why I chose Jane for his actual last name because I just think it sounds really, really nice with the name Daniel. And uh, John, um, I have not settled on a name for John, but I am between three, I want him to either be called uh, Jaime, or Mateo, or Marcus. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Oh shoot, probably should not have done that. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. Um, yeah, so between those those three names. Alright, so I'm going to finish this guy's face and then I'm going to be done with this. And I'm, I'm gonna like actually finish the background and stuff off camera because this is already fairly long and I'm just like rambling at this point and my voice kind of like, my throat hurts because I really truly don't talk this much in real life I like don't talk at all honestly um, so talking this much is kind of ugh. you know, it's just uh, I kind of, I actually forgot what the eye color is I think I said that already but I forgot what this guy's eye color is supposed to be, so I'm probably just gonna end this here so that I can ask my client what his eye color is. And then I'll be done with it. Uh, yeah, I hope that you all will like this video because I just, like, I needed an excuse to make a video because I really did want to make a video but I didn't want to like, I didn't want to seem like I was ignoring my um, commissioners because I, I'm just like always really paranoid about that. Like whenever I make like any kind of post, like whether it's in my feed or in my story or like on YouTube, I feel like they're just like eyeballs completely open watching everything I do just being like what the hell are you doing like where's my commission bitch so <laughs> I just needed a, an excuse to do both if that makes sense all right I think I'm done with this so um thank you for watching and uh, I hope that this was like not completely boring and a waste of time <sighs> yeah okay <laughs> um I hope everybody has a good day and hopefully I will make another video next week. Yeah, so, no, actually, not hopefully, I will, I definitely will. So, uh, yeah, I guess look forward to that if you look forward to my videos at all. Okay, bye.